Okay, well, mm hmm. All right, so we're gonna do a recap, and then we'll cover some ground. See how this goes, where you guys take it, and then we may or may not take like a 30-minute break at some point later on tonight. And he's out again. Yep. Or see technical issues abundant, abundant yeah I'm, I'm not going to deal with technical issues tonight <laughs> can you play tonight or not you good guys you there? Yeah. We're pulling up to her house, so. Okay. Then, um, just connect I'll be, when you. I'll be just, on the website. Just connect when you get to the get to the house. All right. All right. It's like three weeks ago, right? Like three weeks ago? Yeah. yeah I remember yeah. back then. We were yeah, no. About... Like, we planned this three weeks ago. I'm sorry. We're, we're going to play tonight or we're not going to play. Like, I'm not going to deal with, like, we're not going to deal with, like, technical if and that and it's disconnecting and reconnecting and everything else. Like, I have two of you as players. Like, I'm not going to deal with tech issues for 50% of you. Yeah, that's, that's completely it's, it. I know. I mean, whatever. It's not being mean, though. Like, it's just... Like, this is planning, this is what we did, and it's other people are involved in this. We'll figure it out. If we don't figure it out, then we'll figure it out for next week. But. All right. So as soon as this works out, we'll figure it out. Um, and we'll recap as soon as he's back on for sure. Sounds good. What's up?
How's that? Better. Welcome to the welcome, dude. What's going on? You good? Everything good? Are you there? Hello. I'm hopping on my woman's Discord. Oh, okay. Yep. Fucking typewriter keyboard. I fucking love it. Already. Have at it. <laughs> All right. All right, so you guys are ready to go. I'm ready to go. This changed. Dungeons and Dragons. All right. You put can why 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 gotta have a torch in the cupcake? <sighs> you're such a, you're such a smart ass. <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> She's putting snacks in front of me. Can't continue to eat this shit. Mm, okay. All right. Mm. Is this the apple ones? App caramel apple filled. Chocolate stuff. Okay. Um, pulling actual dice out right now, too. Because I do both. All right, we're going to recap. Method is not in the... Uh, in the Discord. Are you in the... All the snacks. Roxy, what's up? Hi. Thanks for the follow. What's up? Is Method treating you all right? Is he doing okay while he's there? Slap the oh, shit out of him for us. Are you on her channel? Or are you on her, her login now? Is that what's up? Yes, that's exactly what's going on. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Okay. All right. Cool. Huh? What? Don't get an attitude. We ain't even started yet. Don't get an attitude. All right. All right. Are we solid now? You logged into roll 20 yet? I don't see you in there yet. I'll, I was I'll on my wait. phone. Okay. I'm gonna get over here. Yeah. Put my 17 sets of dice away. Jesus Christ. How much is this? I have a lot of dice. Not you. Our computer. Oh. Okay. I might steal your keyboard. I want to steal your keyboard. It feels weird, but it feels right. Yeah. The only thing is, one of those little silver things I found is empty. Um, one of them seems like it's going to jerk off a little bit if you put it back in the freezer. Oh, see? Hmm. All right, should be popping up any any second now. There you are. All right. So we're gonna refresh some stuff. We're gonna amend a couple things, just names and possibilities of you guys knowing a couple things because I learned them myself when I wrote them. And we're going to go back over some stuff before we actually get started. All right. You guys have both leveled. Looked at your character sheets again since then. Make sure everything's good, right? Did that online the other day. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then our third that's with you guys.
I don't think we've actually role-played any introductions between y'all. Y'all just, like, ran away and got out of the cave. So we'll take care of that in a few minutes, too. We'll figure some stuff out. Let you guys role-play everything out. Kind of now that we've caught our breath from the last time. So, this is the summary that I... Yes, Sir Jingle Bra. Sir Jingle Bra will need to be officially attached to Bertaz. Okay. Well, you can guess who put that in chat. All right. Sir Jingle Bra. <laughs> this shit's about to get crazy again tonight, ain't it? I yeah, it is. Oh, very. There will be a period of time where I have to momentarily leave for food and then to go back to my in the hotel. That's fine, because um, there is going to be a moment in time where I need to take a break and finish planning what we're doing tonight. Okay. <laughs> Got a really good idea and a really good handle on everything. Um, so, no big deal. Once we figure it out no, and direction and stuff, I'll have to just focus and things. Okay. So our heroes have escaped from drow imprisonment and an ine inevitable life of slavery in the Underdark. After escaping their cells, they were able to escape the caves along with a potential new ally. An orc samurai from the Western Kingdom of... I wrote it. I swear I wrote the name. Oh, it's over here on my map. Uh, I was about to say, check my Discord. Uh, I didn't write it in your Discord. All the names. You didn't? You sent me a list of everything, didn't you? Uh, nope, I sent you a picture of the side of the world that you're on. Mm, I didn't get one. Which I will show you shortly. However, I have to make sure you guys are on the right tab. Uh, Grakvetch is the name of the kingdom, or the region, the country. Uh, an orc samurai from the western kingdom of Grakvetch named Asati Haikadro. Spanish. Japanese, dick. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> Spanish. Everything's Spanish. Exactly. I also said it works samurai, so f go figure. Okay. Mm. At this point, our adventurers have discovered... At this point, our adventurers have discovered a small dinghy accompanied by three... No, make that five individuals who appear to be unloading something and moving inside the tree line near a beach. The boat is not docked, but is just beached and has two oars. It is currently sometime late in the night there was a bout of chaos in the caves which allowed them to escape, but the night gives the advantage to the drow, and the heroes are mentally and physically exhausted. Will they seek contact with the individuals near the boat? Will they try to go a different way? They're 125 miles from the nearest city over water, and no signs of population on this island are known of. Now what? The information uh, you gathered from the ranger who you uh, ran into at the after you escaped... Um, he indicated that he was actually hunting this complete, this drow encampment. Um, and that it was probably, after giving you guys a, a look up and down, it's probably a better idea for y'all to try to get out and gone. Um, he did, because he, because you all seem confused about where you were. Um. Because you didn't know uh, after you had emerged from the uh, underground, um, he in he did now uh, now you remember that he said something because now I remembered that I made it up over the last couple weeks. You are located on a w island called um, oh shit my map's buried oh ugh. uh Weathermore Isle. And if either of you would... Hey, Roxy, D&D &D trumps every girlfriend in the world. You lose out. I got his attention. Sorry. Uh, what? Yep. Roxy, <laughs> D&D trumps every, every girlfriend ever. No, the fuck he doesn't. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go, and you guys can play, and we'll we'll play next week. <laughs> 
<laughs> Matt is like lost in the middle of it. He's like, oh shit, what do I do now? I can see his face. <laughs> ah. Anyway, the um, ranger had mentioned the word, the name Weathermore Isle. Um, and I would like... So we haven't actually pinned down you guys' backstories yet, correct? I mean, stories that we've got a little bit... Um, we've got a little bit narrowed down as far as backstories, but not necessarily the geography, correct? Uh, Calm down, Half Pine. Bad. I know, I was kidding. Right? So, um, for right now, uh, roll a DC 10. Um, thinking like a local knowledge D10? check, but I don't think that, uh, no, a DC 10 and make it a, I'm going to be honest. I liked the third edition or 3.5 skill list a lot better because it was a lot more descriptive. Um, so like a DC 10 intelligence check and let me know what you guys get. Chocolate. Shush. I can't eat the potato chips, but I'm going to eat the chocolate. There's Maybe chocolate. I'm dumb, but what, what's, what do you mean by DC 10? In, roll an intelligence check and beat a 10. Oh, right. I didn't roll 10. 10 is difficulty class. So every check is against. So there's always going to be a difficulty class. And that's your, like, your, your check, right? Okay. When you roll, you want to... As long as one of you knows where you're at. Uh, he said <laughs> Weathermore Island. Weathermore Isle. And that is an area method that you know to be... This is that island right here. Make sure that you guys are on the right. Hold on a sec. There we go. Yep, I, I know. I just moved you. That's why I wanted to check. Okay. Weathermore Isle is the unnumbered one right here in the center. Just north of the Confederation of uh, Halaya. These are right here. Yeah, but we, yeah, wait, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm right. on a line. Hold on a second. I'm trying to line it all back up. Okay. Yeah, so it's right here. It's the north of the Confederation of Halaya. Uh, in this inland sea right here. He So, given the fact that that's what he mentioned, and he gave you guys the distance, is about 125 miles from um, Cowick, which is a city on the northwest northern coast of... Uh, uh, Number nine? <sighs> yeah, Arden. The Duchy of Arden. Is number ten, and then uh, nine is nine is a land called Westmore. Um. So now you realize kind of where you are. Um. Roll a uh. I've uh, meth. I want um Barathus to do this. Um, Bertaz, you don't even recognize the name of the island or, or know where you're at so um it wouldn't be anything to you but um Barathus, go ahead and uh roll a history check on the area can i get a 20 <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Are you all right? <laughs> His dice <laughs> took steroids tonight. Holy shit. Um, Definitely. Mm hmm So, uh, a lot of the rumors surrounding the island, um, you know, to be, it's understood that it's relatively uninhabited. Um, 
the rumors surrounding the island are that no part of the Confederation and no part of uh, Amarth and no other uh, kind of na no other nation around here has claimed this island or put any feet, any uh, actual so settlement here or anything because it's it's rumored to be haunted. It's rumored to have been haunted for the last couple hundred years. And everybody has kind of just stayed away from it. Uh, exploration parties have disappeared. Now, now that you're here and you've kind of seen what's going on, you may understand why part of that would be. Fucking drow. Um, you feel like it could be connected. Um, but yeah, so the point you guys had gotten to uh, last time we met was we're on the beach. Uh, and it is nighttime. It's pretty dark out. Uh, but we had gotten within um, view of this boat that was on the coast, on the beach. And there's some people doing some work. And it looks like, you watch for a couple minutes, and it looks like they're moving stuff from the boat inside the tree line. Because you see like three people standing there. There's two people actually doing the work. Uh, sounds like a government job. And... Um, Seems to be like they're moving cargo from the boat into the tree line, and then they're coming back with nothing. And that's where we left off. All right, weren't we deciding to go somewhere? Uh, you guys were kind of back and forth on we, it, so... We bedded down. Yeah, we, we bedded down. I remember okay. that for a long rest. Okay. Uh, Bertaz, would you like to retrack our steps to go back up towards the dock? I would, yes. I would also like to at some point revisit that cave and retrieve my gear if you are also willing. You want to go back? My religious artifacts are very important to me. I mean, can, well, can we get the... Uh, after we go to this town or whatever the fuck this area is, see if we can get some extra shit, and then we'll run back down to the cave and grab I our stuff. Agreed. That's, like I said, at some point, not immediately. Okay, um, so you guys spend a, uh, alright, tell me about, walk it out for me. So you guys are playing on a long rest, right? We hadn't actually done any of that yet, so you guys are 300 meters from where the dock was, or not the dock, but the boat was beached. You kind of got a high elevation over a hill, looking down on the beach where they're moving all this stuff in, and you're planning on doing, and you're planning on taking a long rest between the three of you. And uh, Asati, who at this point in time has uh, not yet introduced himself, but uh, this is probably a good idea if we keep a watch. And he, rec he volunteers to take the first watch for the night. I'll take second. Oh, you bastards going to make me take third shift. All right, fine, let's go. I mean, Give we can rock, paper, scissors for it. Third shift's the best, man. Second sucks. You know that. You had fire guard. We don't talk about fire guard. Or CP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fucking CP, but I'd, I'd literally be the only one up for 24 hours. Oh, cry. Oh, yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah. All right. We did long rest. Okay, next day. We all okay. Wake up. You calm down, DM. <laughs> it's not. It's not a given, bro. No, no. You can move it along all you want to. It's gonna. It's gonna calm down a second. <laughs> okay. Um, Asa uh, let's see. I said Asati, right? That's his name. Yes. 
Uh, make sure I said that right. Yep. Okay. So, yes. Uh, watch goes by relatively uneventful. Uh, he does not have a fire lit. Probably a bad idea. Given the fact the environment is potentially hostile. And, uh... He's going to... It wakes... Uh, let's see. Bertaz, you said you're up second? Yes. Okay. Alright. Um, wakes you up about three hours into... After about three hours of being asleep. Um, took you a little while to get to sleep. Um, so you're not... Uh, I guess the middle shift... Middle shift sucks. I, I just let you know. You get a little bit of sleep, and then you wake up, and then you get a little bit of sleep, right? So, um, no big deal. The, um, what are you doing during your watch? Uh, praying, for the most part. <laughs> okay. Doing my deity, and then... Pretty much that. Um, also, how far, I forget how far away were we from the the dock area. Uh, the well, when you guys had seen it and spotted where you were, uh, when you come across it, it was about 300 meters. And you were on a hill, kind of crested a hilltop, and saw them beached, the with the the little dinghy d beached up down below. So doesn't mean that's where you rested, but you guys need to specify that stuff. So. Well, I mean, I did say last time we walked back about a half mile, cut into the woods about another half mile. Yep, that's why we did the recap. So. Yep. Um, but. I guess I'll just cast, uh, I'll cast light to just kind of look around, make sure there's nobody around us, as long as it feels safe to do so, since um, we're kind of heavily in the woods, to my understanding, right? Uh, there is a tree line. Then, if it's not that much cover, then I won't do it. That's all you can have. Bertas. Yes. Why don't you pray to your deity for some dark vision? I would love to. I don't think it works that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm just a lowly human, okay? <laughs> Stupid humans. Um, exactly. Right? All right. Um, no, you get the idea that casting light, uh, even inside of the tree line here, would probably not be the best idea. Um, so there is moonlight. There's starlight out and stuff. You can make out silhouettes. You can make out shapes and stuff in the darkness. You hear uh, about halfway... You get about an hour and a half into your uh, into your guard shift, and um, you hear a uh, roll a perception check for me. Okay. There you go. Um. So. I'm gonna turn my phone off, y'all. Getting kitten and half pint talking shit on text messages. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, they're always talking shit about me when I'm streaming. So, um, anyway, um, okay. So 19. All right. Um, you hear like there's some rustling in the leaves underneath the uh, trees and stuff, kind of in the underbrush. Uh, some very uh, strange, um, almost rhythmic scuffling sounds uh, as it's passing by. Uh, you, you can hear it pass by where you guys are. Um, kind of upwind of your location, actually. Um, but nothing comes out to... Counter you, attacks. put it that way. No. No. Okay. All right. Uh, 
right, and the rest of your shift goes pretty uneventful. I am thankful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and... I'll go wake up Rathas. Veritas, what's your actual current hit points at? I don't actually remember. Uh, when we did the character sheet, I, I was doing the hit health. It kind of went back up, and I don't remember. I'm going to assume it was five, because I don't remember being high health. No, you guys were all pretty hurting, if I remember correctly. Brathus, I think, it looks like yours maxed out, too, and it shouldn't have. Remember where you were? Been long missing, didn't we? That's not how that works. Uh, it's not like staying in it, staying in it in in Final Fantasy, bro. I think it's like one hit diver. Let me double check. But mine mm -hmm. also did the thing where, like, when we leveled everything up, it just reset. Yeah, that's I, I, I think it did that, but it's it shouldn't. So I'm gonna check really quick. Oh. Wow, they did do that. This is the first edition of Dungeons and Dragons that has done that. At the end of a long rest, you are completely healed. How screwed up is that? I mean, I, 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 I could have told you that. I've only played this edition. Hmm. Well, I only, I only want to look it up too because it doesn't make sense. Bro, like if my it, let's say if I had a critical wound on my freaking shoulder and shit, and I was like almost bled out and died, like sleeping for eight hours doesn't heal that shit. But it's Dungeons and Dragons, so let's do it. Everybody's healed completely. Magic. <sighs> but it's not magic because you're out of spells. <laughs> it's it's thanks to it's thanks to my dark vision. It is. It's because you can see in the dark. No. <laughs> he was able to sew everything back together in the dark. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, no issues. Almost issues, but no issues. Okay. All right. I'm I'm awake now. Am I? You woke me up, right? You you are awake. The light is up. Light it up, nice. I can, I can the, the sun is, the sun is rising. Oh. I kick the other two awake when it's time. Oh, well, that's fine. No, no, it's not. It's not like a hard kick. It's like a nudge, just like on the leg, telling you to wake up. Yeah. It's, it's not the worst thing. I, I could flurry of fists. You guys awake? <laughs> better than wake up that. fuckhead with a freaking tack light in your face that thing's on a barrel <laughs> asshole <laughs> anyway <laughs> alright okay you're awake you guys have regained your hit points your spell slots are maxed out and are sitting in camp. All right. So do we want to go back and investigate uh, what was going on at the docks, or do we want to go try to find some sort of civilization? Let's go, let's go to the docks first. Yep. And then we'll go back and get our gear. Okay. There was no dock, but you guys can head back over there and uh, start to head back, start well, walking. I thought we and got, I thought, can I, I got a question. I thought we got told by the guy who we walked by that there's a dock about like however, however far up. Uh, yes, that back. may or may not have been what was said last week. Also, in the recap, I let you know, like, hey, a little bit more work on this, and also, like, this is what it is. I literally, 10 minutes ago, the boat was beached sitting there with people unloading it. 
Yeah, so, that's where we were going to next. Okay. My mistake for saying docks. It's okay. Just there's no actual formal dock there, so. It was the difference between improving that night and act because we had been playing for a while and actually sitting down and structuring some stuff. So, there's bear with me on that. All right, okay. Um, cause uh, you guys are gonna sit back. You guys are gonna head back and uh, come back up over that same crest, the same hill, or what looks to be the same hill. Cause it was night when you're there but you're pretty sure you're in the same spot. Um, there is no boat. And from this distance, there's you don't see anybody. Do we want to go towards where we saw them unloading? No, I say we just, you know, since I, ha I do still have that short, that short sword, you know, we, we, we go in there and we just take everything. Like we take over the place, you know what I'm saying? Sounds we like got a plan. rope. We got rope. We got well, we got weapons. We can take it over. Find out what the hell's going on. Question them, you know. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> I would like to use stealth to sneak up on the, these people up there still here. Okay, you guys have talked about what you're doing, which people. Where are we going? Talked about two different options, so. I'll follow your lead on that, because if we're gonna, if the people are already there, then might as well talk to them and figure out what's going on with them first before we try to investigate where they're going to and possibly be ambushed. Fair. So. Okay. Again, I would like to go. To the area where the people are, or they were with the beached boat. Okay. They've made camp there, not see, you know, scope out what's going on first, and then use stealth. Okay. Well, as you guys crest through the hill, the boat is gone. You don't see anybody. So if you, and you were right, it was about 300, give or take, it was probably a little bit more, 250, 300 meters. So 250, 300 yards, it's fine. Um, up the beach. And, uh, Again, like I said, you don't see anybody there. You guys can approach, make your way towards that direction. Is that what we're doing? Well, if the boat's gone, I, just, I say we just go back and get our shit. Do we want to see where they were unloading stuff at to see if maybe that's they were working with the drow and maybe there's an extra, a different entrance besides where that giant, you know, lake monster's at? Yeah, you're right. You're right. We don't want to. We don't want to go back to the lake. Don't want to go the way of the dwarf. <laughs> See why you have to go. <laughs> I know it was so sad. Asadi is uh, willing to go either way. Um, just expresses his interest in trying to eventually get off this island. Oh yeah, once we get once we once we get our stuff, Asadi, we're 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 we are getting out of here. All right, um, so you approach the, uh, start moving up the beach. Are you guys planning on moving through the tree line? What's the, uh, tell me the house. I'm not going to make decisions for you. You got to tell, tell me the house. Stealth. Stealth. Tree line. I ain't going to walk up my own bitch because I, I don't want to get like, oh, somebody right. shot a crossbow bolt. Oh, okay. nat 20, yeah. right between right. the eyes. Yep. So for future reference, that's the thing. If you guys don't tell me the how, I'm just going to draw a beeline from where you are to there. I'm going to move up there. So you got to tell me the how. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll. Um, so you guys are going to move to the tree line then. And uh, why is my chat not coming back up? Oh, I moved up. All right. This interface is great, except it's got some weird nuance shit. Okay. 13 for meth. <coughs> Earth 21. Dare you get what more than me? I got the same role. I was the chat <laughs> person. You're a human. Uh, well, because you stand out or something. Um, all right, and Sati's gonna roll. Roll it, bitch. 
I didn't roll. Did you pull it as his name? Oh, there we go. Now I know why. And he's a little heavy armor. Uh, does he have? He's still a little better than me. Like, my mouse is doing stupid shit. Okay. It's seriously like oh, holy shit. All right. Um. Does Lumber Daddy need a new mouse? No, Dave. So uh, I don't think so. What's going on, man? Just saying hi. Seeing how everyone's doing. Oh, good, man. Just in the middle of a D and D game. How you been? All right, cool. If you're in D and D, yeah. I'll jump out. Then I don't want to be <laughs> bugging y'all. Appreciate stream. you coming by, man. We'll be in chat all night. We'll be in stream all night. So. All right, cool. All right, man. Cool, cool. Have fun. Yeah, for sure. Uh. There we go. Cause I that's one I did not do with unequipped weapons. His armor is good. Okay. Uh, wrong. Why not roll sleight of hand? Just ignore the sleight of hand. We'll do this. Wrong shack. We need to get rid of this freaking public private roll thing. Uh, there we go. Okay. There it is. 19. Okay. Um, so everybody but the cat. No, you guys, uh, you guys, so you guys move through the jung, the, the little tree line. It's, it's kind of a tropical tree line a little bit. Um, uh, it's not quite, I wouldn't call it jungle, but I also like, you guys are in a slightly mildly warmer than temperate climate. So, um, I don't want to say jungle, but it would probably be close to that rainforesty type. Um, once you get in, you're moving through. You think you guys are pretty. Uh, think you guys are pretty, pretty confident in your uh, in your ability to move through undetected. Uh, and you approach where the boat was beached. Um, as you get closer, you can see the the tracks in the sand from where they drug the boat up on the beach. Uh, and there's some footprints and stuff. You can't really make out what's what from here, but. You can see some drag marks and a bunch of foot traffic all over the beach. Can you tell which direction all the tracks are going? Sure. There's um. Uh, there's a spot in the trees not far from where you're at that it looks like there was some traffic in and out of the tree line. I say we go that way. Yeah, I'll follow you on this one since I'm being. Not stealthy since I'm the cat. Okay. <laughs> I'm just meowing the entire time as we walk. You, you are you are all pretty confident in your ability to have been quiet. So well, um still gonna stealth that way again. Yeah, that's fine. Uh go ahead and um I guess everybody can roll a skill check in it, but whether you're trained or proficient in it or not is the difference, right? So um go ahead and because uh, once the tracks break the tree line um there's there's almost no uh, obvious sign of of where these guys were moving to um i have you roll a uh it's gonna come across as a survival check a survival check mm -hmm. it used to be track and it used to be some other it's all wrapped up under survival now that's weird yeah that's not like it's the one thing I like the I like the third edition skill set a little bit. Alright, um Bertaz, you follow the uh follow the tracks and it looks like there's some couple broken branches and you kinda see some footprints in between the underbrush and where there's some um like bare sand in between the trees and stuff. You're able to follow some of the, the tree the footprints. Um it's about 20, 20 feet in or so. Make another check. Yeah, I keep it going, my guy. Watch my Make your old physical dice on a once. camera. <laughs> um, 
Okay. Uh, so you you get to a point where everything kind of just stops. No more tracks. There's no more movement. There's no anything. Just in the middle of the trees. So they just like big, disappear. Big. Yeah. So you see like kind of where you stopped. There's a bunch of a bunch of big trees growing out, and there's some ferns and stuff underneath. A few vines and stuff. Um. What you see there, Tas. Trees and ferns and nothing anymore on the tracks. Can I look around to see if maybe there's like a small cave system or maybe some kind of, I guess, hatch on the ground? Sure. Uh, roll a perception check. Jake, go for it. Uh, I don't have it yet, no. Two of them went through just now. Yeah, the other one was delayed. Okay. Um, yeah, it's really weird. Like, there's uh, underneath some of the ferns and stuff. There's like, you notice under uh, along a lot of the rest of the ground, there's there's like ivy vines and there's some other stuff growing around underneath the ferns and moss and. Um, you look and there's one area that's bare underneath some taller ferns, um, near a thick patch of trees on your, your right side here. And, uh, like there's no vines there. There's no thing. It's almost like the ferns are there for cover. Um, when you look down deeper at the sand, um, something doesn't look right. Like you're just not, you're not sure what it is, but something doesn't look right. Like it's almost like a, like a depression in the sand or like, uh, uh, just something doesn't play right. So you start playing around with it, moving some of the sand, and there's a uh, there's actually um, the sand is not nearly as deep as it should be, and you find a you find a handle for a hatch. Okay. And since he's since these guys are being so careful, can I check for traps before I decide to try to open it? Uh. Or something. Yeah, sure. Make a perception check. I would also like to make a perception check. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit that used to be th the realm of just the thief and nobody else could do that shit? Yeah. <laughs> I liked it better when it was that. Uh, yeah, um, no, it doesn't look like anything's there. It's just very, very well hidden. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look back to Barathus and say, found a hatch. Uh, do we want to go down it, or? I walk past him, open the hatch, and go down into it. Okay. Without saying a word. <laughs> good, good, uh, but I'm bump, good bump. choice there, mate. Alright, so you, the hatch actually, well, the hatch actually opens up, and, um, like, you, there's some sand falls off it and stuff, because it was covered up with sand, but it also looks like the top of the hatch was made to look, um, like sand, like, almost like a, a, a layer of sand was blasted on and glued on um, in some fashion in order to, to uh, blend in with the rest of the ground. And so some of it falls off. It was covered back up. Uh, but underneath the hatch is a, uh, a wooden ladder that's like roped together. And uh, it's all dark underneath. Um, you've got dark vision, right? I do. Okay. So you make your way down in and... Um, it looks like a smuggler's hold. There are shelves, and it's actually quite large. Um, take a look, and it's actually dug out to be about 20 by 30. And uh, it's just filled full of casks, like wooden kegs, and all on shelves. It all looks to be built out of uh, wood from here on the island, and, and all vine t tied together, and... None of the kegs are tapped. They all look sealed. There's no actual markings on any of them, which... Uh, are these sideways kegs, or are they sit standing on their... No, they're they're 50-gallon kegs, and they're all up sideways on uh, on the shelving system that's in here and stuff. There's quite a few of them. There's, you, you figure there's probably 70, 75 kegs in here, if you were to count. 
Is there any tap and dot? Uh, None of them are tapped. Tap and spout. Is there any tap and spout near? No. Not that you can find. No? No. Fucking, I'll take the sword and stab it in the top of one of them. Uh, sure. Roll the hit. Short sword, don't let me down. Uh, yeah, you don't have a problem hitting one of them, and and you get your uh, your sword wedged in a a plank that's kind of uh, one of the planks that's actually making up the the side of the barrel, but it doesn't break through quite yet. Made of some pretty hardy wood. I would like to stab again until I break through. Okay, roll again. Okay. Um yeah, so you crack the the and you're looking at it, it's like it's pretty heavy, pretty hard wood. It's like oak or something, mahogany like oak or like a harder cedar or something like that almost. And um Yeah, it's uh you take your swing get this sword and it actually like breaks in through one of the planks and stuff and the liquid liquid starts draining out does it smell like alcohol it does can i drink it sure uh I'm like the last time you drank an unknown liquid you do realize you, you were poisoned do you really want roll to a it? uh roll a fortitude safe Fuck is that at? There isn't a fortitude safe. There absolutely is. Hold on a second. Saving or I'm sorry, uh constitution. Third third edition. Your fortitude save was constitution based. My bad. Oh god. <laughs> it is alcohol and it is happy juice. Uh, you take a big draw of it, like, just, I mean, at this point, you don't even have a cup, right? So, your hands underneath it, lapping it out of your mouth, out of your hands, just, you take a, you get a, a bunch in there and just take a big old draw of alcohol out of your hands, and, uh, immediately start to feel like, oh, this is some happy juice. Not sure what it is. Uh... Tastes a little strong, tastes a little moonshiny, tastes a little rummy, tastes a little, uh, birthday boy does as well. Birthday, uh, bo birthday boy's had enough so far today. We're going to have some, some more after, more alcohol after the D&D. &D. Um, but no, it, and it immediately, like, you take a big, big draw of it off your hands and it's, it's immediately like, oh shit, that's, that's some good stuff. Um, little bit of burn, little bit of yum, a lot of holy shit. So, uh, it's not going to have an effect on you, like, for game or anything else, because you're not going to get enough to be able to get drunk off of it, but you're going to definitely, like, whoo, boy, like, that's, that's, that's yeah, strong. that's good shit. So. Okay. That was a terrible throw. That was a terrible constitution throw. Yeah, double negative, double one. Uh, how heavy no. are these things? It's about 50 gallons of liquid. Okay. I mean, not to get too, 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 I don't know. I don't know what the actual, like, weight like of it is. But the specific gravity of it is probably, like, 1.3. And then you're talking about weight of water is 8.9 pounds per gallon. These are 50 gallons apiece. Heavy. Okay. I have a yeah. bag of holding. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. Can I shove a casket? I Where'd you get a bag of holding? He's like, no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, we take a maybe a barrel with us and at some point throw it. I sacred flame it. It goes boom. But if it's that heavy, I'm not sure we could. Ah, uh, well, easily. 50 gallons of water alone is 450 pounds plus the barrel weight. Like is I said, it's not, not feasible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know no. if you're that strong. Nope. <laughs> No, you, you get the idea that's probably not going to happen. Uh, can you pray to your god for a, a feat from your god? 
Um, I remember, I told you, I kind of need my my uh my holy items. That's that's part of what's uh the reason I need to go back. There's quite a. Did you do your spell prop this up. morning? Um. You have a. Sp my I got it. You have a holy symbol, and it's a focus, but you still have the ability to. There are certain things pray I can't do and work without, your. Without... Okay, hold on a well, sec. Well, there's certain. Well, yeah, because I'm gonna look that up. I can't do it. Well, yeah, you can't. Anymore. That's the specific abilities and stuff, but your spell casting should still be available to you. Well, yeah. The, the Some of it, is. given the fact that um, the one thing with spell casting, too, guys, I haven't seen a lot of groups focus on it too much. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just lay a table rule out right now. There's so there's three components. The spell casting method probably knows them better than Eric, but you've got verbal, somatic, and material, right? So verbal is the spoken part, somatics, the hand gestures or praying or whatever else, if it's a focus, material is like, this identify spell costs 100, 100 gold piece pearl, right? So that's the, so any any spell with um, a gold, a material cost of um, 10 gold pieces or less, I'm going to assume that while you guys are in town, you're able to refill, you know what you need, you're able to refill and you have what you need and we're going to make it a given. Anything, and with a material cost of 10 gold pieces or more, if you do not have it in your inventory, you cannot cast that spell. And when you cast that spell, it's expended. So keep that in mind. So when you're doing your spell prep, um, so that's going to be the table rule. All right. Um, how that apply, applies to cleric spells is there was a rule in third, and I think they carried over to fifth with uh, your spell focus being a replacement for the material components of certain spells. All right. So we're going to dig into that later. And like, if you don't have your spell focus, which would have been in your stuff, in your inventory, right, Eric? Um, yep. You wouldn't be able to cast that spell. But other stuff that doesn't have that component or anything like that, you'd be able to have access to. So just take a look at what your spell list and what you prepared for the day and stuff. Because also, like, cleric spell casting is pretty spontaneous. You get spell point, you get spell slots. I prepped spells A through D, and if I want to cast A 17 times because I have 17 spell slots, I can do that. But these four spells are my whatever it is, right? So make sure that... Um, just go ahead. If you didn't do that yet, go ahead and take a minute and make sure your spell list for the day is um, is good to go. And if you need it, chapter 10 in the player's handbook is spell casting. Sure. So any sure. specifics will be at the beginning of that chapter. Okay, I'm not sure how many I can prep for each day, so I'm trying to look that up real quick. Uh, you should have... It should be... Here, there's a there's a class. Hold on, or there's a chart. Hold on a sec. I'm looking it up for you right now too. Uh, so spell slots per level. All right. So you have access to your entire spell list for that level. So if you're you cast first level spells, you can cast every spell list on the every spell on the spell list. But you're th second level right now, so you get three cantrip slots. I'm sorry, you know three cantrips, and you get three first-level spell slots. So you can prep. Um, I'm sorry, so you know every spell on the first-level cleric list, right? If it's a first-level cleric spell, you have access to it, right? Okay. And then preparing spells, you can cast, or you can... Um, uh, you can prepare... Your cleric level plus your wisdom modifier. So two plus, what's your wisdom mod? Four. Okay, so you can prepare six spells that day, right? And so I've got a few that are considered always prepared. So I'm pretty sure my that's list is separate. Right now. That's separate, right? Yep. So three, six, and then yeah, you have like two domain spells, right? So you have eight spells total. So like you have eight spells. So you could prepare all of those. Right, um, yeah. and then, so like, if you couldn't, if your wisdom modifier was only two, you could prepare four. So you could sit down and say, "Okay, I want to prepare burning hands, fairy fire, healing wood, and detect magic." Then the rest of the day, you wouldn't be able to cast cure wounds, inflict wounds, guiding bolt, create or destroy water, but you could cast because you have three spell slots. You you could cast fairy fire three times if you wanted to. Okay. So that's how that works. All right. 
Okay. So yeah, my list. So yeah, make sure your your list is ready. All right, good to go. Um, and just make sure when you're looking at spells to cast, make sure it doesn't have any extremely expensive spell components that you're not have access to right now. Currently, none of mine do, except for create water requires a drop okay. of water. Which, it's fine. Um, if you have a water skin or you have anything at all, it'll be okay. Um, all right. Um, for something like that, also, like sweat doesn't work, right? Because that's salt water, it's not pure, okay. and it's not like a. It's not water. It's a solution of water and something else, so that doesn't work. Um, what about okay. boiling urine? No. No. <laughs> That's all I'd ask. Oh, okay. Um, so, just to go over that. All right. Um, I got so sidetracked. I'm like, where are we at? Okay, what are we doing? Uh, you guys just were in the uh, downstairs in the smuggler, little smuggler's basement thing. Broke a keg. And Barathus is like feeling like, oh, this stuff would be really cool. All right, um, that's where we got. What are we doing? Well, I guess there's nothing else to find in there. Math kitten laughs at you. She's like, ah, no, can't use P. All right. <laughs> it was just a question. That's okay. I was thinking of blood, but yours is a little bit more acceptable. Wait, wait, hey, yeah. uh, oh, oh, buddy. You're in. You gotta wait. Blood is on demand. Get over here, bitch. Cut you. <laughs> um, blood is not pure. I wasn't gonna use no. yours. Okay. Yeah. So we're in a smuggler's den basement. All right. Do we see anything else that we could like? Any like secret passages? You're in a secret passage. No. Uh, <laughs> roll a perception check. Both are just in. Whoever's looking. I was gonna look too. Okay. Damn. No, you don't see anything else. <laughs> I would like to look again. <laughs> you have okay, already you looked. Uh, you can look again, but you in advance rolled an eight and uh. Here you go. Well, your eight, your eight stands, and uh, nope. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the fucking cave and see our shit. Well, maybe not directly back to the caves from the way we came. Maybe search around to try to find a different entrance. I really don't want to deal with that water monster. Can't we just have fucking the one dude throw us up there? Ashitosh or whatever his name is? <laughs> right, but if the water monster was able to, you know, be deep down there, it was probably about, what, 20, 30 feet of water away from the, like, 30, 40 foot drop. I don't think anybody, minus, like, you know, hero or mythical level, would be strong enough to throw us. What about the ropes? Can you throw a rope, like, 60 feet away? Uh, a saucy... In... I think I might be able to jump 60 feet now. I think I'm, I think I'm joking. Uh, in diagonal fashion? I don't know, maybe you're right. My climb speed is 20 feet. Feline ability is when you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of your turn. Once you use this trait, you cannot use it again until you use it again. So, where the fuck is it? I, I talked about this with you. Step of the wind. You can spend one key point to take the disengage dash, dash action as bonus action on your turn, and your jump distance is doubled for the turn. My jump okay. distance is... Uh, don't also forget, you know, the giant spiders on the ceiling, because we didn't kill all of them. We don't have to, we just gotta jump to the ropes. How about if they drop down? <laughs> we have weapons. Okay, but what about while we're climbing the rope? Hold on with one hand and swing with the other? I mean, I can. I don't know about you, I'm a, I'm a cat. I am not. I climb pretty fast. You know, if I fall in the water, I become, you know, <laughs> calamari for the calamari. Asad, he uh, speaks out. He said, I do not think it wise to, to go back to that which we escaped from, my friends. I agree I, with him. I am personally 
uh, have no interest in going back. I am simply here. I think it's better that we stay together, which is why I'm here. But I am very interested in getting back to uh, my home. We will help you. you and your big blue ass. Wait, what? Who's it blue? He's not blue. I don't, I don't know what color he is. <laughs> he's an orc. He's uh he's slightly dark olive. Well, fuck you and your olive ass. Or half half orc. Half well, olive. Sorry. Maybe we should be nice to the. Where's a uh? Help us. Got a uh. Just for reference now to you, since it came up. Uh, it didn't come up, but I'm in interjecting. He's um uh. uh very athletic for his uh, size, or at least it looks that way. And uh, he's got the shaved sides with the top knot. And uh, even though he seems to, I mean, he's in the same position you guys were in. He, uh, you know, very stripped of who he was and kind of on the uh, verge of being sold, uh, has tried to. I'm sorry, it seemed like he, he just has this air of nobility or, uh, uh, around him. So, also, um, Matt, there's, I'm going to blow a lot of stereotypes out of the water with this uh, campaign world, so just ignore everything you know about half-orcs. Or anything. I know nothing about half-orcs. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, other than they're big and green and murder a lot of but if, up until this point, he seemed very uh, well-tempered and has not been um, extremely rage-filled. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, yeah, he's only half-orc. He only rages when he needs to, like the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> so, different route. Two against one. I will stay I with. About the lift. I will stay with you for my own safety until it becomes no longer interested to my own safety. So, I have a home to return to and a mission to return to. Can we just leave our leave our stuff and then just buy new stuff? We could, but where are you going to buy a bag of holding at? The magic store? Where are you going to get the money for it? Aren't those just things like stupid expensive? Oh my god. Just just, just murder the person and take, 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 you know. He sounds like royalty. Maybe he could, uh, you know, spot us our gear. I'm sure I'm going to that, Ben. I'm literally just just about to. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So, what, what, what's your background? Where you, where you come from? Like, what's, uh, how rich are you? I am not. However, um, I am. I am here. I was uh, displaced or rather uh, sidetracked from um, my voyage to uh, Amarth. I was uh, on my way to speak with the king there uh, hoping to get gain his audience as a representative as a representative of uh, my lord's interest I come from a land called correct damn it I wrote it <laughs> I need to just everything's gonna be at ed ed Eddie level shit from now on <laughs> uh, well, Rock clutch we'll talking and then hmm? do uh, little time stamps where you have like name for this. Now I've got it all. It's all name, mapped out and name. stuff. And actually, it's I I thought I put it on his character sheet, but I didn't, which is what I was looking for, or what I was thinking about looking for. Hold on a sec. Uh, keep opening the OBS. Um, I don't know why I still have it on this computer. Okay. Um. But I come from a land called Grakletch across the ocean. Uh, say what? He said he comes Gretch. from a land called Grakletch. 
which is clutch. what number is we actually one? uh 27 he says he actually uh is on the same continent but it's a shorter trip to come by ship and we are in dire need of help i came to seek diplomatic envoy all right came as a diplomatic envoy to seek assistance um however i must return Well, where is the king that he needs to go see? Uh, Amarth is uh, the region around number one. I'm going to review this with all names and stuff on it by next week, next time we meet. So I just didn't get the chance to do okay. it this week. There's land far in the west. However, it came, it was, it was faster to come by ocean from the east. Yeah, I see. I see that has a name. Mm -hmm. Lord of Lich. But which king was he going to see? Like what uh, was one. I'm Arth is area number one. All right. I guess he wasn't even intending on coming to the Confederacy or the Confederation. The Confederacy online, and somebody's gonna call me a racist because people have feelings that are stupid. Um. People are retarded. Get over it. Yeah, I know. But uh. Well, we're here, right? Like we're in this this fucking island. Weathermore, yeah, yeah. You just pinged it. Couldn't we just literally get off the island, go to here? Sure. Every hex is twenty four miles. That's a small stretch. Yeah, if I remember correctly, didn't you say like we were one hundred and twenty five miles away? From Cowick. From the nearest no. city. Is here. Yeah. I tried to give you guys a boat. <laughs> what do you mean, try to give us a boat? Gave you a I boat. Guess you were, I guess we were supposed to uh, ambush those people in the middle of the night with low health. I, I didn't say ambush. I, there was a boat there. I had one health. You don't have to kill everybody. Not everybody's a bad guy. I gave you a boat. You guys are too scared to do something about it. All right. Again, I have one health. <laughs> yep. Somebody could breathe on me and I would die. Yep. Nothing. Okay. Gotta start swimming. <laughs> and roll new characters. All right. Uh. <laughs> well, that's uh. You guys got the nearest. About 40 miles at the nearest crossing. Well, no, there's one right here. About 26 miles. Okay. And you're not sure where on the island you are. You just know you're up here somewhere. Well, this is this part is the only part with trees, right? No, it's the the whole island is pretty well forested out vegetated yeah i want to be in a vegetated state what mm-hmm i'll be down at the shop sure but uh well i see no other options for really leaving this island unless we explore more go back get and get our crap and see if there's any kind of stuff there that helps us get out of here those are the only I, two options I really see. I'm just saying, we could go back to the cave, the part where we came out of, and, like, tie tie one of the ropes around me, I jump over to the ropes that, that we have dropped down from them, and then climb up, and then we have a direct line to going back. It was... I, like. uh, I, I understand you're, uh, you're, you're not going to make any jump that you saw in there trying to get to where you're trying to go to. Which is not feasible. You talk about it. It was better than a 40 foot plunge. And. Uh, distance wise. I'm going to scale it out. 25 feet across at the widest point. That's cool. Take the chainmail off, I gain 10 more uh, speed. 50 speed. Mm 
You might be able to clear it horizontally, but you're not going to get 40 feet of elevation out of it. I can not at the same the time. Wall. Okay. It's true. I can't cross it. So there's the, there's that. And then when you move on your turn or the, the feline agility, I can use that to double my speed, which my speed would be 50 if I took off the chainmail, so that'd be 100. I'm just trying to think feasible. I got feasible you. Ideas. I got you. So there's also the spider webs, and they didn't all burn, right? No. We didn't call so the spiders either. Say what? You didn't kill all the spiders, though, either. Oh, that doesn't matter. I'll, I'll slay the shit out of them. We can use the spider silk to, you know, I climb up spider silk, up the wall to the spider silk, climb down the side of spider silk and go to the, you know, platform. Got you, Eric. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, we can search around, but the only other way that we got can get in is the lift if you remember mm -hmm. thoughts per pass I'm still partial to not going back through the area we left uh, what idea do you have well go towards that area, look around and see what's maybe up top, because if we go back from that way, we're kind of cornered, and then I don't want to get cornered again, so maybe if there's a bunch of people up top, because that's what happened last time, they came down, and we were very outnumbered. If they're up top, maybe we can kind of thin the numbers out, and on the way down, there'll be less to deal with. Versus us, you know, probably alerting everyone again, because, let's be honest, we're probably not the most stealthy here. What about y'all? I'm pretty unstealthy, so. Yeah, but I think I used all my good rolls already, so. I said I'm pretty unstealthy. I know, and I'm saying I think I used all my good rolls, so I'm gonna I'm gonna also be unstealthy. Oh. Well, let's go. We going? Sure. I'd like to. Okay. Oh. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, so it's still early morning. We really haven't done much. I guess it's been about an hour. Um, actually moving and then finding this. Getting down there, talking this out. Start moving back. Um. And as you break the tree line... There is, you're coming out, um, you see another boat on the water rowing its way this way, toward the beach. And now that it's daylight, roll perception check. Everybody, everybody. Yeah. God, we did so great. <laughs> so as, all right. Collectively, as a group, we are blown. <laughs> what about my passive perception? Does that count for anything? What is it? Four. Nineteen. How do you have a nineteen passive perception? What's your actual perception check? Uh, let me look. I don't know. Uh, my, my passive 14? perception is thirteen. My passive's 14, but I have observant, so it gives me a plus 5. God. Damn. Okay, well, even though you're looking for it, you don't see shit until you turn away, and then the the ship... Uh... <laughs> but yay for water. It's, it's fine, man. It's fine. Um... No, uh, so you don't see shit while you're looking for it, but then when you look away... The ship that is on the horizon is per perfectly uh, clear to you, and the boat has um, 
several person per, people in it. You can't tell how many yet. Um, there's several people in this boat that's rowing towards the shore. Awesome. Let's go meet them. <laughs> uh, how many boats are coming to the shore? Just that one? One. One boat. Looks like a rowboat. There's a ship off in the distance. It looks like. So, do we take the rowboat or do we go get our stuff? I will let someone else decide. We're going to we're going to the people. I want to talk to the people. Yeah, As Asadi agrees to the word talk. Uh, he 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 said there's. Keep those things off of me. There's value in not always expecting to kill something. You don't feel heat. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. So it takes a couple minutes. They're rowing their way in. You guys are all out of the tree line at this point. I'll make you into a steering boat. That's all right. And about. Four or five minutes go by, and the boat washes, like, rows up. There's two of the uh, oarsmen get out to to pull the boat. Looks like one of them pulling one, pushing it up onto the beach. And as that as they beach it, the three individuals on the boat, um, what? What what'd she say? <laughs> I kicked off my shoes and I kicked my feet up and she's like, that was rude because it was right near her. Oh, okay. I you heard her feet. Keep your feet away from me, woman. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Uh, the three of them get out and they uh, they kind of look at each other for a second as they're de disembarking the boat. I almost said de-boating. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm I'm just making up words over here, folks. Um, the three of them disembark the boat once it gets up on the beach, and they kind of look at each other. And it looks like one of them says something really quick, and and uh, the individual in the center like kind of just low brow, like shakes his hand at him underneath this, you know, just in a low position, shakes his hand at him. So it looks like he's like, I, and he uh, he comes up. And he's like, oh, what the. Uh, What are, you, what are you all doing this fine fine morning? How how'd you come to be out here? You don't uh look like you're from uh anywhere near here. You I whisper to Brathus. Do we want to go a shipwreck? Half pint insert pirate shanty. Okay. <laughs> Immediately slice off all their heads. Say what? Nothing. Ship shipwreck is is right. <laughs> I, I I gotta answer saying, well, we were all caught in a shipwreck. Ah. I uh, I see. It, he looks back at the other two and kind of, and uh, looks back towards you. Sits. Well, it's uh, mighty fine that we be uh, coming up ashore today. Then, where uh, where where were you all sailing? Where where'd you all sail from? I was going from. We were going from the duchy to the uh, what you call it? I don't know. Into one. Who's taking notes? I don't know what it's called. Which one's the one? The I can't, it starts with an A. Hmm. Anybody taking notes? That you have that you have Arden? No, not the, not the Dutchie. Uh, Amarath. Yes, I'm taking oh. notes. You, you, you man's. The Duchy of Arden to Amarath. Uh, M Marth is A M M A R T H. Just for future. A Marth. Ah, I'm butchering it. I know. <laughs> you sailing to uh, sailing to Conley then? 
We were. Ah. Oh, there was no word of a ship that had gone down. Must have, uh, you haven't been here long then. Word hasn't gotten back to, uh, to Cowick about a, a, a shipwreck yet. What is the day, if I might ask? Any other survivors? Just us three. <sighs> Damn. Mm. I knew Trevor. I I I know a captain named Trevor. Sailed that route very often. At least, at least every other week. Uh, he would he would board up and and stay for a week and then return trip. wasn't wasn't uh, Trevor's ship, was it? I'm gonna look to the pathwork and be like, give me some info about what you were doing. We don't know how to keep this going. <laughs> I was gonna know that stuff, man. You gotta make, make it. You gotta. Sometimes you're just gonna improv this stuff. There's no answers, man. This is so it's away from the away from the characters, away from the characters. Like, it's 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 okay. This stuff happens. It's it's storytelling, right? It's an unexpected event. So from your character's point of view, this is unexpected, right? So does he know how to handle this? Good. Then you don't have to role play. It can just be you. Um, <laughs> Even if you knew or you had an idea, man, does your character know how to play it? You know what I mean? Like, it's always, de it, so it depends, like, what, you know, what's going on. Sometimes, sometimes you can put on the spot, and it happens. There's no answer. It's not a, that's why it's different than, like, a video game or something. That's why I love it so much. It's nervous it's just, and like, Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So. We were, okay, no, I'll try. We I'm were, a murder uh, for sure. Wasn't Trevor's ship, was it? We were but ship hands. Um, I was hired on as extra. I was not privy to who the captain was. I was hired under uh, this fine fellow here next to me. Then I point to the half work. Oh, um, everyone knows the captain that they work for. I care about the money I get. And then you must know who's paying you. The guy next to me. You! I'm assuming you're pointing towards the uh, half work. Or just yeah. saucy. He just looks up. He says, no, uh, it it was not Trevor's ship. And he kind of gives you a side-eyed glance of, like, kind of being a little pissed off at being put on the spot. <laughs> well, he's the one that was doing the sailing, so. All right, look, we're, we're just looking to have safe travel. That's all. Well, your business is your own. Uh, and he, we have uh, some things to attend to. Uh, but uh, we'll be here just this morning. We'll be shoving back off this er early this afternoon. I suppose uh, we may work a deal with the captain. We're, we're, we are heading, uh, we're ported in Cowick. I can take you that. We can we can speak with the captain. and We can take you that far. Maybe it is up to the captain. It's his ship. Good to know. I got nothing. And uh, he looks back at the two that were oaring, and then they the ones that beached the oh, the uh, sorry, not those two, the two that were next to him. Uh, he just gives a sidelong glance. And uh, you see a nod, and the two of them um, walk off in a different direction towards the uh, tree line. And uh, towards it, it looks like there's an opening down uh, about 50, 50 yards or so down the, the yards or 75 yards down the uh, tree line a little bit. Looks like there's an opening and stuff and a path that you didn't see before. Well, we'll be here most of the morning, and, uh, you know what? Better yet, I have another idea. We'll, uh, we'll be out of here shortly. 
just uh, let my men see to. Uh, they're here to help a, a, a local. There's a, a hermit that lives near here that uh, we know and who has helped us out before. So we, we bring him supplies. Uh, so we're going to uh, tend to that. And we'll, we'll be leaving here in a. Give us two hours. So, if you'll allow us to uh, to conduct our business, and you you can return, uh, give us two hours to uh, take care of what we need to, and you can return, and we will uh, we will make our way back to the uh, back to our ship. We can speak with our captain. Thank you. All right, so we got two hours to get our ship. Uh, well, it, once the guys kind of walked away and out of earshot, I kind of wanna wanna talk to. Rathus for a second. So as the guy out of earshot kind of walked away, started doing his own thing. Yes. You talking to you, DM? Yeah, no, I got sidetracked for a second. Say again. I said, did the guy walk away so I can talk to Barathus uh, out of earshot? Uh, they expected you guys to walk away, it looks like. Okay, so you just walk away um, back towards the tree line, I guess. And uh, I talked to Brathus saying, well, we may have only two hours to get our stuff. We found a smuggler den, and then there's a ship the next day. So walking off towards the forest, I only assume, towards where that smuggler's den was. I don't think they're going to want uninvited guests, and we may end up right back in the same boat. Or same situation with being sold again. I highly suggest we don't trust them. Say again. Okay. Did you hear what I said? No. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. That's fine. I say we found a smuggler's den. And yes. then there's a giant ship the next day with questionable looking folks that don't expect anyone else to be here at all. But yet they have, well, like us at least. And then they you know, are going to go conduct business on an island. They have. They have... I'm, I'm going to guess they're smugglers. I'm going like, to. Also... I really don't care. Well, the point I'm making is once we get on their ship, I'm going to assume they don't want people that could be witnesses or, you know, the ones that might tell of what they're actually doing. And we may end up back being sold again or as slaves on their ship, outnumbered, who knows, three to five, ten to one, two to three to one, whatever. Just uh... I will murder everyone. These, 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 these hands are ready to eat for everyone, and they flurry us. Flurry of blows and things. Destroy people. Uh, I'd rather have a confident way to get off the island. I would just say take their boat and go. They took the oars, didn't they? I meant once they come back. We, you know, well, the, uh, the one that spoke to you was still there. The two that got off the boat first with him uh, walked off, and the oarmen are still on the boat. Hmm. Actually, it looks like the Ormans are now, at this point, starting to unload a couple things. It's like a crate or two, um, a, a, a cask, a keg that looks strangely uh, very, very similar to the uh, to the ones that you guys saw in the dark. Although you can't completely tell, as details are hard to tell from dark vision. Um, but, you know, they're about the same size. And, um, hmm? I would like to just yell out, hey, you guys are some, are some smugglers. Cool. Note to self, find a silence spell. Next level. I used to do smuggling back in my day. Don't worry. Okay, so are you, I need to know whether you're being sarcastic right now or whether that's actually like, this is what Be my serious. character is doing. I'm trying to bait them to attack me if they think I'm a threat. That way I can kill them and take their shit. Plus we'll have a cask. Uh, no. <laughs> he starts he starts laughing. 
Ah, oh, my boy, I wish. I wish. Maybe there'd be more money in this for me, but no. <laughs> uh, by the way, we're 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 just here to. Uh, I mean, I know you're you're you've only been here uh a while, a short time, so you didn't get the chance to meet Erwin. He stays to himself most of the time, anyway. That's that's why he moved here. But no, uh, Erwin, oh, he lives in a hole, right, where there's a bunch of casks. Ah, uh, <laughs> young man, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I think that's don't play uh with me. I don't I don't care regardless if you smuggle or not. I'm just interested. I, th I think your imagination has got the best of you, son. Can I can I do perception see if he's lying? Uh Yeah, sure. You can't tell. There's no way he rolled that high. Bastard. It's hard for you to tell right now. Hmm. I look over to Bear Toss. Hey, Bolt! What's up, buddy? Sorry, go ahead. Do it again. I said, I look, I whisper over to Bear Toss. Should we just kill them and take the cask? Um, see, now, if we kill them, there's a giant boat behind them, which I can assure you is much faster than the small little boat. Uh, and we are under the cover of darkness, though. It's, no, it's bright. like, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Outside, but... You guys got up from... vision was undistinguishable. That's why I thought it was dark. Right, because you were in a dark hole with a bunch of shit in it with no light. Ah. That makes more sense. It, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, uh, do we want to rethink this combo? <laughs> How this is going? Because I still don't think that if we have him attack us, we're going to survive the encounter from said big ship. I think we can get away. We got a half orc. He's pretty big and strong. And we're not that far away from. Let me look at my notes. From west, fucking, I can't read my own handwriting. Westmere? West Westmore. Moore, Westmore, there you go. Weathermore? <gasps> Westmore. Westmore. Weathermore Isle is where you are. Westmore is number nine. Ah. Well, I know that, you know, a ship with sails can infinitely go faster than a boat with oars. Especially, you know, with only three of us. That's just my two cents. I don't think it's a good idea. Well, then what do you want to do? I want to discuss ways without having to murder every single person. Without risking having our health go all the way to zero again. Um, I, d I don't know any other way. Uh, uh, the... Yes! Hmm. <laughs> The way of the gladiator has always been the way of the You good? That's fair. Why not you guys? I'm talking about Well, that. we've got two hours. Do we want to look around the island a little bit? And then, you know, if, if we can't find anything else out in the next, like, let's say, hour, we come back and try to either steal or kill everyone and take the boat? Um, mm -hmm. Asati is of the mind that it may be beneficial to show restraint in this interaction and endeavor uh, in order to secure the most, the safest uh, trip back to land as possible, as this may have already gotten complicated a little. Well, then I don't bullshit and they don't want to fucking admit to it. Hmm? Dick. 
but I called him out on the bullshit. We don't want to admit to it, dicks. Well, I don't know if you heard what I said. I said, we got two hours till they come back. Do you want to spend roughly one hour looking around, seeing what options are available, and kind of like, you know, explore the island maybe a little bit? I mean, we could. I just, I'm trying to get off these goddamn islands. I understand, but I want to do it where where we have the most chance of success. So they gave us a two-hour window. We use one of those hours. And then if we can't find anything within one of those hours, we come back and we do your plan. Okay. Is that a fair compromise? And I also look to the half-orc as well. See if he has any suggestions. Or he won't speak well. Uh, Asati is, uh, he's, he's made his, his mind clear. He's, uh, of the opinion that the least amount of conflict in this would be beneficial. So, where should we go for the next hour, then? I don't know what I can do this way, really. Do we go towards the cave again? Like, towards the cave area to look more? Or do we want to maybe try a different route? Since they came, like how far away from are we from the cave entrance? Uh, I believe you guys have moved a couple miles. So Hard to tell miles. because it was at night and you were kind of running um, <laughs> to escape, but you believe it was, yeah, a couple miles from there. Whatever happened to that one guy? Yeah, the Ito Flop. I thought he was still with us, but didn't he go off on his own? The, uh, oh, the Dragonborn? Yeah. Uh. I thought he swam. Like, man jumped in the ocean and immediately swam away. Or was it someone else? He broke off and did his own thing, but yeah. So we're okay. the next hour we probably won't make it towards the cave. So Yeah, you figure um overland two to three miles per hour. Um, even if you got there, be kinda cutting it close for what you had to do to turn around and come back. Because you're also not a hundred percent sure where it is, so you're gonna be looking for it, so you're gonna be moving a little slower. Um so it would be basically a turn and burn for no reason. Um, if you guys don't want to worry about that, we can fast forward if you want to just go chill out somewhere and we can just fast forward for an hour or two hours. That's fine. Did you want to fast forward, Brathis, or did you want to actually try to look around and see if there's other options? And you guys, if, if no. that's ever something you guys want, you can ask about it, whether, and I'll let you know whether it's feasible for where we're at in the story and what we're doing. Good to know. I just want to murder some people. Preferably the drow that took my shit. Well, then we'd have to go all the way back to the cave for that. And kind of ditch the plan of taking the boat. You guys don't want to do the plan. The plan of what the DM told us wasn't really going to be feasible? I'm trying to understand the lawful neutral monk uh, oath of murdering people senselessly. Listen, I'm just going to until the point where you fuck with me. <laughs> and I mean, lawful is very, uh, it, it's very up for interpretation also, so, you know. That seems more like obsession. I have my own set of laws, but nobody knows what the hell they are. Do you? I'm only joking. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, she's she's very real. <laughs> no, it's not true. She does it to me, but she's not right now. Alright, so in your indecision and your conversation concerning um, you guys get to the point where the 
uh, you, you've dwindled enough time to where trying to accomplish anything else would be unproductive. <laughs> Sounds about right. So time passes. A couple hours have gone by. Um, you return to the uh, spot on the beach where the pi I mean the uh, passengers in the boat were located. The boat is still there. It looks like the five of them are back. They're getting ready. Looks like And, uh, ah, uh, so, boat? all right. So wait, are we getting in the boat with them or are we murder hoboing them? I didn't know what you decided on. <laughs> they, uh, they speak us. Well, we've, we've got room for the three of you. Uh, it looks like a dinghy that would carry about <coughs> like a little dinghy or a little lifeboat that would carry probably about a dozen people. Now that it's devoid of uh, cargo. Okay, well, I guess we get on with them. Worst comes to worst, we just murder them off the boat and hit them with the oars like a you know, water snake. No, I got, I got a. Dad, I can't I, even I feel it. I don't have weapons. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, you all pulled a weapon out of there. I think out of the cave. Oh, you had something, right? That's all I got. <coughs> okay. Well, they uh leave several seats for you open in the middle of the boat. You have the two oarmen, uh, one on either side, and the uh, the individual that was uh speaking to you uh before he um takes the bow of the boat and uh, the other two are seated near the rear leaving seats for you guys in the middle and uh, hmm? I was going to say before we get on can I do a perception check to see how heavily armed they are uh sure just you know, that's hey Dave idea. thanks for the lurk appreciate it man sorry uh, we weren't trying to necessarily cut you out of chat but we're trying to Get some game stuff going. Um, I definitely want to size them up as well. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I like your role better. So they're all armed. Um, they all have some sort of either a dirk or a dagger or a, uh, like a rapier, short sword. Um, none of them looks to be necessarily armored. The, the individual that spoke is uh wearing some pretty blatantly uh is pretty blatantly wearing some leather armor. Um the other four are yeah, don't appear to be wearing anything. Um but they all are are all armed and if you're looking at them actually trying to size them up, uh all of them bear uh several scars which you don't think were from getting kicked from horses or falling off a stage. So um, they all seem to be pretty weathered, and uh, it's more about the way they they carry themselves. Um, they very nonchalant, um, but you have caught them um, in uh, sizing you guys up the same way that. You're sizing them up right now. You've seen it several times, so. I don't have a feeling this is gonna go well. I just mutter that under my breath. Uh, none of them appears to have heard you say anything. Oh, do you want to get on, or do you want to bust some heads? We're getting on. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so you guys get on and they uh, make sure you're sitting down and the, the two gentlemen kind of, they've pushed out to see. She splash, you splash in as you get in the boat a little bit. It's not a 
no big deal. They seem not to not to mind at all. And uh, the two oarsmen start rowing. Um, a little bit, obviously the boat's a little heavier than it was earlier, so they're, and there's been some work being done, so they look a little tired. Um, it doesn't seem to phase them too much. And, hey, uh, uh... Can I interrupt? Real quick? Yeah. The food is done, so... I'm gonna go eat. Okay. Right. Uh, tell you what, we'll take a break right here then. Um, you said you have to eat, and then you have to head back to your hotel? Yes. How much time do you need? <laughs> I don't know. It's what, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes away? You need 30 minutes? If you, if you guys want to keep playing and have Veritas roleplay with me, he knows Nah, we'll play. wait, because you're 50% of the adventuring Capri party right now. So, uh, what do you got, about 30 minutes? I still need to eat. I know, you said it was a 15 minute, I don't know, man. You were in the army, it takes 30 minutes to eat. I don't know, I have no idea. I'm eating with your <laughs> family. Oh, okay. All right. Um, devour everything in front of <laughs> We planned this three weeks ago. Whatever. All right. No. Um. Cool. Just. Uh. No. We're not gonna role play without you. I'm not gonna do that with like 50% of the group's not gonna be here. Like, if they, like, um, like if one of you guys didn't show up for a night, like we wouldn't even play. So, um, I know it's only for an hour or however long it's gonna take you, but we'll um we'll wait. Um, I'll divert for a little bit. I'll take care of some other stuff. Um, I want to do some dig in and then I'll do some stuff online. And then when you get ready, um, feel free, man, hop back in and let me know. Shoot me a message on Discord or text me and I'll let Eric know. And then we'll pick it back up. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Cool, cool. All right. Awesome. Then I will see you guys in a little bit. Eric, you're more than welcome to hang out in Discord. I'm going to keep streaming. I got till tomorrow morning. So. I'll be here for a while. I may put on some pajamas because kittens feeding me so well. I'm feeling like I was freaking Santa Claus over here, plumping me up for Christmas so I can bring toys to kids. Um, I didn't say I was hating it. I just, you know, you you feed me real well. You do a good job. You're so nice. And I do have to eat my birthday cupcake. So, she bought me a Oreo crumble cupcake for my birthday. So, I'm going to eat that on stream after I... Kitten said Bertaz can download Apex so he can play next time. I feel like we're... I'm trying to grow the beard back, okay? Guys, I'm sorry. I had to shave. I know. It doesn't fit the look. It also, like, reveals some extra chins. Um, I know, but... Um... Anyway... Oh, I just meant that she, I figured you meant, she, yes, she can feed me really well, but that's fine too. Um, so we'll do that, and then uh, we'll be back here. So I'm going to change into pajamas and something more comfortable, and then probably hop back on Apex for an hour or so, until meth is ready. And we'll get going on round two. <laughs>